Hello everyone, welcome to an uh, actual Sketchbook Pro tutorial. <laughs> it's been a while, and uh, so what I'm going to do today is I want to show you guys actually how to create this background. Um, this is a new drawing that I did uh, just a few days ago. Um, I think I posted the picture on my Google Plus and Twitter, no not Twitter, uh, Facebook or whatever. Anyway, um, so I'm going to show you guys how to do a background like this. This is Cyborg from the Justice League. Oh yeah, big thumbs up because they're actually making the Justice League movie now. So it comes out after the Superman and Batman movie, which we still have a ways to go. But anyway, regardless, so I'm going to show you guys how to create this background. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so first off, this is just the image that I imported from um, the drawing that I had did earlier. And I'm actually going to be using my finger today. So I'm on my big tablet. Okay, so <clears throat> make sure you have a new layer created. This is very quick. This is very quick. This is really simple. Um on how to how to create this background so I'm going to show you guys okay so first off what you want to do uh, come over to um, this one up here with the three dots hopefully you can see that and you just want to select the bucket okay now what you want to do is you want to go and get some blue kind of more of a baby blue and there we go okay so now we have our um, our color main color so now, what do you want to do? Now we need to create a second layer, or, well, yeah, a second layer. Um, and then come over here to where you see the pencil and the uh, paintbrush, and we're going to just start scrolling over. And I'm going to show you some of these things are really, uh, they're really helpful. So we have these patterns right here, so we're actually going to select this one at the top right corner. Okay, and then let's scale this up a little bit, make this bigger. Okay, and now we need to go and select a new color. So we can actually just pick the color from right here. So we'll go with black. And we're just going to start. So this is all I did <laughs> to create that background. At least for that, that portion of it. So now you can kind of pick whatever pattern you want as far as for like, um, not the texture that we're drawing with, but just as far as like, where you want it to fill in on the screen. So you can just, that's kind of just up to you. Okay. So as you can see, that was pretty darn quick. <laughs> okay, and then the last thing, so actually we're gonna go ahead and merge those two layers together. Okay, now the last thing, let me hide this layer real quick. And uh, turn this on, okay. So, now mind you, the reason why there's more blue around him is because, well, I purposely did that, but, you know, we don't have his, um, we don't have the character or anything, so we're just literally doing the background. But now I want to show you how I did these, like, lightning bolts and stuff, which is extremely simple and very easy to do. So, let's go ahead and hide this one and unhide our other layer and create a new layer, and we're going to go back and we're going to uh, we're gonna get the, uh, the airbrush tool. Okay, so... Mind you, again, we are going to be creating the lightning bolts. So let me show you how it's done. Okay, so here we go. We're going to get uh, maybe just a tad bit lighter blue. We're going to scale this down to about right there. Okay, and we're just going to start putting these practically wherever the heck you want. Nope, that's not good right there. Okay. So just put them wherever you want. Um, this was pretty much done uh, on the, uh, the Spider-Man drawing. This is kind of what I did for those as well. Okay, so just feel free. Just do whatever you want with them. Just put them wherever. It doesn't matter really. Okay, so we're pretty much done. Okay, so there we go. So now we have that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create another layer. And we're going to select white. Okay, so once we do that... Actually, you know what? I'm sorry. Or let's actually go with... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go with white. Okay, so now make sure you have your, another, your second layer. And we're going to scale this down a little bit more. Okay. And then you can zoom in if you want to get closer when you do this. And then we're just going to make the lines on the insides 
This gives it more of that kind of glow effect. Make sure we're doing good on time. And, okay, we're good. So practically, you just continue and you do this for all of those or at least the ones that you feel like that you want. And uh, so yeah, so you can just go ahead and just finish and just do all of these. I don't know about some of you, but sometimes I don't like to use um, the styluses too much, not too much anymore on um, on this tablet. On That's only on this tablet though. Um, and it's just because I think the the S Pen on the Galaxy Note just kind of spoiled me, so I pretty much only draw on that tablet now. Um, when it when it comes to like using a stylus, when I use this tablet, I pretty much just use my hands, which it takes a while to get used to, but um, it does happen. Okay, so anyway, regardless, you can keep on going. I'm gonna skip off. I'm not gonna do every single one of these, but one thing you might want to do is you might want to add just a few little of these just out there, here and there. And you can get as fancy as you want with this. Um, one thing that I like to do too is, well, I'll show you in just a second. Okay, so let's just, let's just call it for right there. And let me create one more layer underneath our first layer of the um, electricity looking stuff. Come on now, this tablet is slowing up on me. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna get more. Let's go with, let's go with that color. Hopefully, you guys can see that. Okay, and then underneath that layer, we're gonna put another kind of glow, kind of effect behind all of those other ones. This just kind of helps it all glow more. So. So as you can see, this really doesn't take that long at all to do. You can you can do this, uh, yeah, see, this tablet, it's getting, this tablet, it's time to update this one because it's slowing down. <laughs> okay. So, all right, so as you can see, that's pretty much how you do it. Um, again, like I said, you can get as fancy as you want with it, but that, those are the basic steps on creating uh, that type of background. So if you have enjoyed this uh, this tutorial, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And yeah, so I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And uh, don't forget, if you like what I do on my channel, feel free to subscribe. And uh, yeah, and to all the <coughs> all the new people that have been subscribing, I thank you very much. It's very encouraging. So with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. All right.